Hi everyone, Lady Amalthea here. My voice is mostly back after having departed for a few days there, which was horrific. I didn't know I could still lose my voice after having my tonsils removed in 2008 because that was the last time it happened and not being able to speak was horrible. Uh, for someone who loves talking, it was a problem. So I'm very grateful that it has returned, uh, not without some work on my part, but uh, that's a whole other story. And I am doing a little video because I have a new deck that I wanted to unbox because I want to work with it. And I wanted to do the, my honest unboxing opinion before I dealt with the actual deck in my own readings. Now, um, this is thanks to birthday money I received as it was my birthday in November last month now because it is now December here in Australia and I picked up a deck I've been thinking about for a little while now and I got this from Two Sides Tarot which is an Australian tarot retailer uh, based in Sydney and they do oracle decks and a few t-shirts and tote bags and zines and things as well and a, a, a moon diary or two from memory and um, what's interesting about them is they sell in American dollars so uh, you have to do a bit of calculating to work out how much it's actually going to cost <laughs> because I don't remember exchange rate things in my head that's numbers aren't a thing that work in my head so um, go oh I can afford that wait no I can't <laughs> but yeah birthday money means that I could pick up this deck um, for a good price that I felt, felt was a good price and also um, it was good to support an independent retailer rather than Amazon which I like to do whenever possible so here is the deck the next world tarot by Chrissy C Road and here is the back of the box, um, written and illustrated. So this deck is a few years old. It was on, pretty sure it was on Kickstarter. And um, either I just didn't get it at a time or I, I don't remember. I have cut the plastic off just to avoid having to do that in a video. Um, and now I'm going to bring it out of its box. Packages from Next World Tarot always arrive beautifully. Um, they always arrive beautifully packaged. I've received, I bought um, Moonchild last year with my birthday money from. Um, so the deck itself, there's no plastic on the packaging once you get inside the deck and it comes with the book. It's one of these foldy open cardboard boxes. Oh, wait, there's another deck. There's another card. Oh, I left the fool in. <laughs> so what I love about this deck, um, from what I've seen it online, um, it's semi, semi future, futuristic in a few ways. Um, and I don't mean like hard science fiction cyberpunk kind of futuristic but more like a potential future and a potential future where people can have like there's a sign on the box that says queer muslim and proud and another one that says protect trans women and that's just so marvelous that um chrissy imagines a world where these things are more prevalent um i believe and the card backing is the same as the back of the box, which is this, um, and I will not pretend I know what flower that is, um, enwrapped in barbed wire, which is a really interesting image. So the cards are massive. Like these are really, really big cards. Like that's my hand and that's the card. So, I mean, I don't have gigantic hands. So I, I, a decent size hand? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so they're, they're pretty decent. I mean, I've got a 15 centimeter ruler here, so I'm just gonna measure them. And the cards are, oh, more than six, six inches. 
what which is just over 15 centimeters so i'm guessing that's going to be six by four yes it is six by four which i think is post not postcard but photo size i'm not a lapsed graphic designer here um so the artwork is very colorful uh, wait hang on one side so here we've got the full and um on the card not only does it have the image with all the beautiful detail it's got the sign so i don't know if you can you probably can't read that because the lighting um so it's got the astrological sign the um element and the planet um now i don't know where these correspondences come from if these are the traditional correspondences for tarot cards i'm just going to quickly have a look see they do repeat um so i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure where these correspondences have come from if they're the traditional ones or if these ones are the ones chrissy has um, ascribed their own meaning to um and you know that's cool i will be reading the book at some point i'm sure um and it's they're, they're huge these are easily the biggest tarot cards i've ever come across so they're quite they're quite bright and colorful images but they're not perfect like they're beautifully detailed but they're not like snappy happy kind of pictures and one of the reasons i wanted this deck was because of the diversity in this deck see look we're on the high priestess and already we have beautiful fat black women and then the empress is an older woman so how great is that and sorry, they may not actually be women, they may, may be non-binary. That's that's bad for me to kind of assume because so it looks like some of these cards have different names. So we've got the teacher. And then the messenger. Now here here is the card that made me fall in love with the deck. The lover's card. Now this this person is clearly disabled because they are using a cane and i in my day-to-day -day life for the last little while have been using a walker um and previous to that i was using a cane um and the figure in instead of a couple in the lovers it's a person but it'll be, and it's representing self-love because they're the concept of the spoon theory is being used here because the image in the mirror is handing themselves spoons now if you're not familiar with the spoon theory that's something a lot of us chronically ill people like to use to kind of explain energy levels so i'll leave a link to the spoon theory below um i don't really want to go and explain it that's not really what this video is about but i just thought it was really beautiful that um, I'm not 100% sure if Chrissy themselves um, are disabled or if they're just an ally, but they're a good one if they are just an ally. And the chariot, the chariot is one of my favorite cards, it's my birth card, has elephants, which are one of my favorite animals. So, like, how great is that? Um, and then we have this gorgeous butch figure, the strength. Isn't this gorgeous? Because strength can be represented in so many different ways. And the hermit. I don't know how well these colours are showing up. One day I will learn actually how to do videos better. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Now, Justice is the cover image for the box, the deck box. And we have suspension instead of the hanged man. Death. Now, I did mention before I wasn't sure about the cards um, 
the um, astrological correspondences. I do know that the death card is traditionally the one associated with this, with Scorpio, um, and that happened to have Scorpio on it, so maybe that's where they're getting them, the traditional meanings, but I'm not totally sure about this. Now, Temperance, this is a really cool one. I mean, they're all cool cards. I've Initially, I wasn't sure which deck I was going to end up getting, um, but my birthday money ended up stretching further than I anticipated. And some friends I showed this deck to, they were definitely unsure about it. And um, here we have the devil. Very interesting card. There's a lot going on in there. Um, and they, they, yeah, it definitely wasn't a, card, a deck for those particular friends, but I do believe it really is a deck for me. Revolution, young and old figures. The star, not gorgeous, the butterflies. So some of them, we do have some of the, the familiar um, images of the Rider Waite Smith deck. So like here's the moon and there's the, the lobster, which I have never understood the significance of the lobster. I will have to look that up because the lobster is often presented. The sun, isn't that just a gorgeous card? This figure looks quite youthful. Judgment, clearly a protest happening. The world, absolutely gorgeous. And now we come to, oh, now this is interesting. So we come to the suite of wands. Um, and we have the ace of wands. And down the bottom it says the roots of fire. So I'm not too sure what that's all about, but um, you may or may not know, depending on where you are in your tarot journey, or if you're just one of my friends watching this out of curiosity, um, that each suite in the tarot has a particular element associated with it. So for wands, it is fire. So yeah, I can see, I can see that certainly being the case. Two of wands. So these cards all seem to have, I don't know if they're kind of like in your more traditional oracle card with a, a, a I can't think of the term, <laughs> um, a defin not a definition, but like a, a meaning, no, that, that seems like the wrong word. Like oracle cards often have a word on the, on the card and these cards do have words on them meaning definition i i can't really be quite sure Oop, my computer's going to sleep but i just wake it back up and we have five of wands oh this one's absolutely beautiful six of wands victory Seven of Wands. Now this is beautifully represented. Courage. Eight of Wands. Direct action. Eight of Wands is a card of direct action. I don't know what's happening. My camera's going in and out of focus. Ah, oh, this one's cool. Nine Wands. Resilient. All those guitars. Wow, those was actually a banjo. And then we have Ten of Wands, which is underneath my nail says completion. Page of Wands, the Home of Fire, Knight of Wands, the Fire Starter. Sorry if there's a bit of noise in the background. My housemates are playing D&D. It is, in fact, Sunday afternoon, and that's what they do. The Throne of Determination for the Queen of Wands. Oh, I like this. I like this King of Fire. King of Wands. Throne of Fire. Gorgeous card. Now, 
I'm not going to go through the rest of the deck because I feel like I would be here for another 20 minutes because there's still another however many lots of I can't sorry I'm not good at maths um, there's still three more suits so um, but I will just quickly show you the ace of pentacles because look at those roots of the earth it's gorgeous and then we'll split the deck and here we have ooh, my computer just made a noise hopefully that it's not just a video too much a very cool three of swords which um if you are familiar with tarot or even if you are not hugely familiar with tarot may have seen the big stabby heart with three swords in it image three before because that is traditionally how the three of swords is depicted um, and I'm just going to quickly have a look at the little book. And there's a P.O. box listed on the back of the book. Um, so this is a black and white book. The definitions aren't hugely meaty. Like hugely, well they, they probably are very meaty. because They're not long. They're not very long. They might have a lot packed in them that I, I mean, yeah, that's an unfair assumption to make that they're not meaty just because they're not long. Um, so the book, yeah, I just want to read a few words from the book. When we're up, the system wants to tear us down. When we're down, we sink in an act of resistance or self-preservation that comes from the horror of exhaustion. Now this looks like it's going to be a powerful little book. Um, and sorry um, about Discord. Um, I don't know how to mute it. Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh, I'm get. I'll get better at these. I swear. Um, I like this, it's dedicated in love and rage. Um, so I think the book, yeah, um, there's a lot to unpack in this book. There's a lot to unpack in this deck. Um, I suspect this deck and I are going to become good friends because I'm always looking for more diversity in my own life and I'm always looking for disability representation um, being someone who's disabled um, being someone who is in constant pain um, which hopefully is going to change soon oh dear it's not fitting back in the box very nicely um, I just bent the full card um, so yeah that 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 deck's going to be a good friend I suspect um, but I did just want to quickly show the projects, mini projects I am currently working on. Look at this shawl. Look how beautiful it is. The colour has not come across at all in the video. It is a more emerald green. But also my hair is a different colour and my shirt is a different colour. So I don't know what the colour deal is. I don't know how to edit these things yet. I, I'll get there. Um, my hair's more green. It looks kind of blue in this, but that's all good. Um, I should go and get myself some dinner because it is dinner time, and I'm actually surprised my dog hasn't come in barking for dinner, but he's uh, supervising D&D, so he may have actually lost track of time. Um, and I've lost track of my thoughts, so I'm going to say thank you for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back at some point. Uh, with other deck reviews, uh, unboxings, more unboxings than reviews really, and then also um, I've got some other goodies that I want to show off on my channel, um, partly to promote the creators um, who have not asked me to do this, simply this is me wanting to promote two creators, one whom I have known for a few years and one whom I have recently discovered. So um yeah, I, I like to be able to create, uh, I like to be able to promote local creators whenever possible. And one of these is a Western Australian based witch. So that's pretty cool because I am 
in fact, a Western Australian based witch these days myself. So may as well get to know my actual community that I am in rather than um, not getting to know it. And um, an exciting thing that is going to happen in the new year, I am going to be launching a full moon circle. Um, no idea how I'm going to go about that, but it's going to happen. <laughs> it's all very exciting. So if you're in Perth, you can come and hang out the moon with me. Um, I will post some details when I know more, but I don't even have a location yet. So there we go. Um, thanks for watching my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.